Real quick, guys. You know, a lot of guys ask me, you know, um, who am I a fan of? You know, who's who's the top guy in my book right now? You know, um, you know, and that you know, everyone's like you're either a Golovkin fan or you're a Canelo fan or you're this, you're that. You know, um, you know, Mayweather, Ward, Pacquiao, Kovalev. You know, like all these premier fighters right now. You know, so even though. Uh, Mayweather is retired, you know, it, it doesn't really matter because you always be a fan of Sugar Ray Leonard or Sugar Ray Robinson or Duran or Hagler, you know, and they, they, you know, they've been out of the game for a long time. The point I'm trying to make is you're either on one side or the other. So since you're only on one side or the other, it's one of those situations where I'm a fan of when someone asks me, are you a fan of Golovkin? I will tell them, yes, you know, but for many reasons and for not the same reasons than other people are. You know, I'm a fan of Golovkin simply because Golovkin was a guy that fought his way to the top. He didn't need any help. You know what I mean? He did everything. He knocked out everyone. It was only three guys that escaped the ring without a knockout. You know, so uh, only three guys have made it that far. And, you know, congrats to them. However, Golovkin, you know, his and he, he's one of those rugged fighters. He's a savage beast. You know, he doesn't do anything. He's never one of those fighters that that you'll see him do something in the ring. And you're like, man, that was pretty. No, he's not that type of fighter. You can box Golovkin all day, but his strengths are he imposes his will and his uh, pressure. So if he had anything at 110%, that would be cutting off the ring and applying his power to where it needs to be applied, you know? So, cause he will catch you and he will run right over you. You know, he will, he's definitely a lichen. He's not a vampire. You know, someone like Canelo would be considered a vampire, you know? Um, and Canelo, am I a fan of Canelo? Um, I like his boxing ability. I'm not a fan of his simply because of a lot of things that he has too many X's on the side, you know, um, and he has been catered and it, re it really, I would be a fan of Canelo if he wasn't so catered. He lives in too much comfort for me as a fighter, you know, cause my idea of fighters, you know, I understand you, you know, he's the creme de la creme. He's one of the highest paid boxers. Now he's a superstar. I get it. However, it's hard for me to respect that. So therefore, I'm not really a fan of Canelo Alvarez. You know, can he box? Yes. Is he an underrated boxer? Yes, he is. You know, is he an overrated boxer? Yes, he is. You know, um, he's a good counter puncher. He has great punch variety. He's never been down. He has a solid chin. You know, he can sell tickets. He, you know, and the thing is, I like to see a Canelo fight, you know, but it's like, it comes to the point of boxing now. Po boxing has to be resurrected, and it's going in a good direction. But it has to be one of these situations. It has to go into the direction of best fighting best fighters, not a good fighter versus a mediocre fighter, and you already know who's going to win. You know, I mean, and ironically, those are the type of fights that people are the best, are the top guys, which is Canelo and, you know, um, Mayweather and such and uh, such guys like that. They can fight guys that look and it makes them look phenomenal. You know, it makes them look phenomenal in the ring against a mediocre guy, you know, but everything changes and you can see it changes when they get in there with someone just as skilled or uh, more skilled than they are. You know, a challenge, someone that makes you, you know, puts a question mark over your head. You know what I mean? So those are the type of fights that needs to happen. And Canelo is not really making enough of them. You know, am I a Laura fan? Yes, but I have to call Laura off on the same bullshit that I call Canelo on. You know, Canelo fought Liam Smith and Laura. And I was, you know, I'm a Laura fan. However, Laura is, fight Laura is fighting a bunch of bullshit fights. He's talking a lot of trash and he's not really putting out. He's not... You know, his actions are not matching up with his words, you know, so him and Canelo are in the same boat with me. You know, he just wasn't, you know, I mean, he, he took a boat to come here for Christ's sake. So you got to respect that. So I'm I'm a fan of the boxer with the struggle. You know, that's what I'm a fan of. So any fighter that I read about, that I hear about, that had, had came from poverty, adversity, that's who I'm a fan of. You know, that's what really, you know, gets my antennas going like, whoa, OK, this is really interesting. This guy has a story. He has, you know, he has a testimony. You know what I mean? So, you know, like uh, like Vinny Pazienza, you know, I mean, it, it wasn't the fact that he was just this great fighter. It's a fact of his testimony. Right. You know, one of my favorite fighters is Mickey Ward, but he, you know, he, he's far from the best. 
So it's not my my idea of my fans wouldn't come from how good they are. It's how good they took adversity and still kept moving forward, right? So, you know, those are the people that are the boxers that I am a fan of. So as of now, you know, um, I'm a fan of Regendau. I'm a fan of Golovkin. Um, I like Ward's story, you know. I don't like how the decision went as of late. Um... Who else comes to mind? I'm a, I'm a fan of Lama Chico. Um, I'm a fan of Ugas. He's a um, he's a Cuban fighter that just um, upset an undefeated prospect. You know, um, I forget his name, but he'll come to me. Um, who else? But those are all the people that come to mind right now. And those, you know, and for different reasons, you know, again, you know, I'm a, in, in the heavyweight. Let's get to the heavyweight. I'm a fan of um, Anthony Joshua. Um, I'm a fan of Ortiz. Because um, Ortiz, Mr. King Kong, you know, anybody that comes from adversity, man, that's what I'm a fan of, you know. But um, but me, that that's that's just me and my own opinion of wrapping up, you know, who I'm a fan of, you know, and why, you know. But um, anyway, leave your comments, um, concerns down below. This is Kurt Deville with Counterpunch Boxing News. You've been counterpunched. Peace.